I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! If they don't trust me as it is, I'll be their suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Who? Master Kema. You saw no one else when you arrived. Just the butler. He let me in, but he never came upstairs. But he was here before. A handkerchief. A lady's handkerchief. So? We can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then. Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. What is that? It's... The weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Monsieur Dorian, what can I do for you? 
Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course, but I do know of an apothecary in Lamare who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might have... Not again! Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here! <laughs> Slow down! Wait! Just have a few questions. What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? 